Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message that I recorded on July 13th, 2023, I'll be using the Medicine Woman Oracle by Katherine Mallard. And there's the front of that box cover now. Isn't that absolutely stunning? And this is one of my new decks I received as a gift for my birthday on the 10th. So excited to discover it with you today. So off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck to find guidance. Spirit guides, peace, love and light universe. What is my all signs, collective energy, timeless message that we need to hear today? Spirit, spirit, spirit. What do we need to, and there it goes. It popped right out indeed. Okay, ooh, what a gorgeous card. I absolutely love this card. And all of the imagery is so fantastic within this deck. I would really encourage you, if you're interested in, you know, if this really sparks an interest in you, to go out and, and uh, look into this deck for yourself. It's absolutely stunning. So, if any of those colors and any of the colors that are within my environment or that I choose to wear today, please know it, colors hold energy. Those are additional messages for you. Just telling you and reminding you to go out and do your due diligence and your homework and look at what those meanings may mean for you and apply it to your life where it resonates. All right. So the number here is 25. Okay. So if you're seeing 25, 25 within your environment, again, what do I always say? Signs and synchronicities, especially with the numerology and numbers and repeating numbers within our environment. And two plus five is seven. If you're seeing seven, 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 again, that could be another message for you. So pay attention. The name of this card is creative fire. Reveal your creative talent for an inspired life. Ooh, how exciting. And we're going to go right into the booklet indeed here, okay? And uh, my return watchers know this about me, that, uh, you know, I read from the booklets and, um, and because I like to honor the hard work that these deck creators, you know, do. Not only in the beautiful imagery that we focus on within our readings, but the booklet message and the intention that they had for the card when they created the message that they had, the deck creators had in their mind when creating the specific card. So we're gonna jump into it. Anything additional I might add, as you know, my return watchers, that is just taken from my everyday experience, my life experience through the years as I apply it here and um, you know, sprinkle in additional comments and that, and certainly any intuitive downloads, uh, channeled information I will share as well. So let's jump into it here. Creativity reveals our soul path. We all have talents and resources just waiting to express themselves. A commanding creative impulse compels us to come out into the open, expose ourselves, and breathe our specific artistic perfume into the world to embellish it, to kindle emotion and enchantment. This living river, which fertilizes the most exuberant forms, flows naturally through women. All right, very interesting. To be creative is also to know the art of initiating your life by perceiving all the possibilities inside of you. In native traditions, painting, dance, singing are principles of individual and collective regulation that keep a level of order in the community, okay? Your guidance. The time has come to warm your soul psyche before the fire of your inner wild woman's creative force, all right? Go deep into your belly and heart to find that woman, all right? And, and as, you know, this is a woman, medicine woman oracle, all right? So they're going to mention a lot about being a woman or, you know, how this applies to women. But let's also think about this as feminine energy, okay? Because we all are a duality. We have masculine and feminine energy. So even my male masculine watchers, all right, or those that identify with more masculinity, you can still learn things here today. So just be 
you know, mindful of that as well, all right? She will plant seeds in your life. To rekindle your creative inspiration, ask yourself, what brings you to life? Dancing, poetry, singing, painting. You are invited to poetically and wildly inhabit your life, okay? To show up as you are with your special gifts and your special interests. Those are given to you for a reason. You're being encouraged today to take steps in developing that and take steps in releasing your creative energy in whatever modality that is most interesting to you, all right? You are invited to poetically and wildly inhabit your life, whispers Clarissa Pinacole Estes, and I don't know who that is. Whatever you are going through, you could receive trans transformation through the right, through the path of creation, all right? Maybe you're looking to transform yourself and you want to honor yourself by listening to what creativity really lights you on fire and following that and doing that and pursuing that, all right? Maybe you've had a creative interest for many, many years and you just keep sweeping it off to the wayside, you know, boxing it up and putting it up on the shelf thinking that you'll come back to it later. Well, you're being invited today to take that box down and open it up and look through it. And this, you know, this is just an example, or right? And certainly to allow yourself to be creative today and whatever that means, okay? Instead of just saying, oh, I'll do it another day. I'll procrastinate, okay? I'll self-sabotage yet again. When, creati when creativity, excuse me, is our life force, okay? It's so important, not only to for ourselves, but even in our community. And maybe you've been really interested in finding out community creativity resources. So I'd encourage you to go out and do that today. Creat creativity brings profound liberation, okay? So jump right in. It really builds self-confidence when you find a creative outlet, all right? It reduces stress and it allows you to express yourself in healthy ways. Your medicine action. Be wild and cleanse the river. Creative flow is in us. It is rarely dried up, but it can be polluted or contained, all right? And polluted might mean you know, somebody's telling you that your creative, your personal creative process is incorrect or it's weird or it's wrong, or right? And uh, you know, you're, so then you hold back and you find yourself not actually doing the things that hold great interest to you. Don't listen to the naysayers, all right? There are plenty of individuals in this world that have the same types of creative interests as you that would support you and encourage you to develop those, all right? So find your true tribe. Find those people that are gonna support you in your creative endeavors. Creative practice. Light a candle and invoke the spirit of creative fire. Breathe in deeply. Connect to the matrix of the second chakra. Interesting. Two fingers below your navel, your reservoir of creative impulse, your uterine cave, as we speak of women, okay? Where the primordial feminine energies reside. Ask your question. Perform a sensory meditation with cinnamon bark essential oil if you're interested. Let an image, sentence, or thought come to you and let the creative current course through you. Sing, dance, write, and embrace life beating inside of you. Stray off the beaten path and lose sight of the end result. You are unique, okay? And this is just the example of how, you know, these are just suggestions from this booklet message here of how to evoke your creative fire. But do what speaks to you, okay? Whatever rituals, whatever, you know, ways that you evoke your creativity, do that today, okay? Because it's gonna enrich your life. It's gonna make you feel whole. It's gonna help you along and realize your purpose in life, all right? And that your purpose is to have joy and to create and to be that human 
and and to follow those dreams that are given to you for a reason all right and not to find yourself procrastinating self self sabotaging allowing others to sabotage you and who you really are you do not need to apologize for what creativity sparks that fire within you allow it be it find that today okay i really encourage you to do that for the benefit of you for your own well-being because as you create you release you know not only that tension that stress but that built up creative energy that is just waiting to be released or right it, it feels good it feels like you're on the right track or right so i would encourage you to do that today in whatever way that is for you now for example and i can give an example i express my creativity every single day or right by making these videos creating this video for you or right because it lights a fire within me i think about it until it's done okay and then it also is a release for me not only do i spend time you know creatively figuring out what color combinations i'm going to wear for the video how i'm going to represent the makeup in the video because I wanted to be a makeup artist at one point in my life and I chose a career path instead. So for me to be a makeup artist, I put makeup on every single day because it brings me joy and happiness. Other people, other women may not do that. That is okay because I also want you to know that I celebrate natural beauty as well, okay? But for this all intents and purposes of this channel, this is how I light that creative fire in me or right by doing what I'm called to do even if people think I'm odd or different or weird for making this channel those aren't my people all right those aren't the people that are meant to find me those aren't the people that are meant to support me I'm only looking for those individuals that enjoy what I do that support what I do okay and I don't need to apologize to those other naysayers do I all right so just giving you an example of that today that I do this for me, for you. I show up in my authenticity for myself first in order to share with you all and bring you messages of contemplation, consideration, and conversation, all right? So I invite you to be that creative, imaginative, beautiful, fantastic soul that you are and don't apologize for it, all right? What a beautiful message for all of us today. We can all take some of this and apply it to our life where it resonates i encourage you to go out and light that creative fire today spend some time creating in whatever way that you see fit whatever brings you joy and if you want to share it with others you certainly can or you can keep that private as well enjoy the day get out in nature a lot of times nature can inspire us in our creativity so, so spend some time outside if the weather is nice and that would encourage you and inspire you to create all right and be who you are and who you came here to be all right and don't apologize for it okay i appreciate you thank you so much for your likes thank you so much for your support subscribers i see you you are so important to me i appreciate you i get up every single day and i think about you and i think about how am i going to produce something that is of value for these people so that they can go through their day and it helps improve your day and it helps your well-being and it helps you okay i thank you have a beautiful day. Put your best foot forward. Get out there in nature and be creative. Be the best human you can be. And come back tomorrow and join me for yet another Collective Energy reading. Bye-bye.